more and more we find ourselves using uh, two fly setups, you know, a, a dry dropper or uh, maybe, you know, two or sometimes even three nymphs. Um, where it can be particularly, particularly frustrating is when you're dealing with smaller flies, trying to tie that clinch knot onto the bend of that, that first fly. And uh, I've come across this knot that's uh, saved me a lot of time and grief. Uh, I'll just call it right now a, a dropper knot for the lack of a better name, but it's very simple. You're simply, we're using fly line here to illustrate, we're just making a loop. And what I like to do is point that tag end up rather than go at it sideways, and you'll see why in a second. Once you get that loop form, you just simply take your hemos, wrap it in there, go around five times, grab the tag end, and then you pull that through. Now what you've got basically is a, a, a standing, if you will, uh, clinch knot, and the hole's already here for you. Then all you have to do is take your end of your hook, your pointy part of your hook, thread it through there, lick it, and in the case of mono, pull it tight, and there's your clinch knot.